this. You have started misbehaving now. Eh? Eh. Eh. Do you know that you cannot treat me like a fool? No, we are I can also be the way you are behaving. I have respected myself. I have respected myself. I am not a thief. I am ready to go in those cells. But when I come out, you come and I will share your pension. You understand what I am telling you? You are the only police officer pushing me around. You are happy with the way you carried me like a criminal. Don't behave like you are not a police officer. All these people who are seeing here, they are actually looking at me. I'm an MP, I'm a lawyer, I'm a businessman, I'm not a thief. Tell Prince Chileshe, the money that he has paid you will finish one day. You understand? I will sleep in cells, I don't care, I can stay there for one year. I am a man. I was born a man and I'm ready to suffer for the truth. I am suffering because of the people I'm defending here in Kabwe Central. The people where Prince Leshe wants to demolish their houses. The people who are suffering because of a thief that we put in the office of mayor and I am ready to suffer with the people. I will go in sales right now. Let me go. No, no, go on. Go and bring my gin from the car. Can I be scared of sales? I'm not easy, please. One I am going to sales. Not scared of anybody. You understand? Yes, I can be scared of you. Because of what? We came together all the way. You come and misbehave from me. I am going. I'm not scared. But you will pay. I'm telling you the truth. You especially, Kavanda, for pushing me like that. You understand? Who is in charge of this nonsense? I tell you this one. Who is, Ma, who is giving instructions? Who is giving instructions? We want to know. Excuse me. We are the summons. We've been invited. Can you know? Let me go. Have you seen Tayari? So if he's there, make sure he's there. Okay, can you please? Can, this is not deck. Can we go to deck? You screen us from there. Then in this case, can we go back? No. We are going back. We will tell you that we brought the first lady no, and we, we want to We want to make sure that the individual we are told. But that, why, why, why should that individual even be his daughter? Why should one guy disturb the whole procession? The question is, why it's simple. It is there. Who, okay, first, let, let me back. ask you a question. Mm. Who is in charge of this group here? I want to talk to that person. I'm here. We are talking you are me. the one in charge. What's yes. your name? Mr. Mateo. Mr. Mateo. Yes. Are you aware that we are supposed to be inside the 10 Yes, I am aware. So if you know we are supposed to be inside the 10 why are you blocking the whole? Who is delaying block the, the first lady, you block the lawyers, you block Ooh. everyone. No, no. Is it me delaying? Do you know how a president moves? We have been in Mr. Mateo, listen. Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Chahari, Mr. Chahari, do you know how like do you know a former head of state moves? Does he move alone? Of course I do. You know, it's simple. You know, so Mr. why? Mulure. No, we have to explain what we are every person asking, you are seeing here. What we are simply asking. Do you want us to explain this and every person you want to be part of the group? So why? Have you seen Tayari? 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 You've seen the president. You've seen that, but we've been so. Even if you show Tayari, you can show. You don't want to be going in there. Okay, so do it now. Mr. Mateo, excuse me. Oh, ma'am. Mr. Mamba, Mr. Mamba, let's do this. Mr. Tayari.
If more than two, in case you missed it. Come, let's get this side. Let's get this side. The president is just addressing us there. Say, come and have us be behind. No, let's get this side. This is bullshit. I don't understand. You, you don't. You are not being. Let me explain to him. For your own information, the president has just announced that he is appointed as. There is a group of people that has been sent to come and harass me. Okay? The police are aware. So I have decided not to come on my own. I've come with someone I trust. And as I am sitting, there's someone behind me. They want to remove the person behind me so that he doesn't say anything. I know you after my life. No. I'm telling you, you, you know, you know where, where are you coming from? Where are you there when you were threatening to shoot me? <laughs> you Zambia police you after my life. I'm telling you the truth. This time around, I'm ready to be embarrassed again. Okay. I am not going to come to The world must know. Zambia police is here. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Savage. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. So we'll take those lists now. We'll work on them. Some items are the, for the Minister of Technology. Others are for the Minister of Home Affairs, like the cadres who misbehaved here in Kagwe, right in these grounds, and in Pika. We do not support thuggery. What used to happen in the previous regime at Intercity, blood every day, bus stop, at Kulima Tower, no. Here in Kagwe, I could not enter Kagwe. The late, may he so rest in peace, Tutu Anguluve used to make sure that if I'm passing through here, by that rail crossing, there are stones there. Every time I came to Kabul, you don't see that anymore. The situation has changed. It's much better. But we still have work to do. Old habits die hard, isn't it? Some of the cadres who were in PF throwing stones to us, they fused into UPND now. And they've continued. Some are UPND, but we will come them down. We need law and order. Let's work together in fighting corruption. Corruption is a thief. It steals desks from kids. Alola, uka, uka. Did you hear the president talking about Tutuangulube? The guy is late. You're still trying to sh cast shade on him. Well, actually, you don't even need cutters to put stones because all you do is you put babuju to block whoever you feel like blocking. So I don't even know why you are saying like things are better. It's worse actually, because now you're using police officers. If they decide that they don't want any Uka person to go somewhere, all they do is they go and fill up the place and we don't go there. So what you're doing is exactly the same, except it's worse because you're using people who should belong to the entire country, including the opposition. The police are for everybody, not yours. So you remind me of Tutuangulube with your sad words talking about the dead. Conduct itself. He himself, my younger brother, he's, he's got an attribute to him of breaking bonds. If you just turn off the cameras, you may find that my bonds are broken. <laughs> and I want you to know that in this country, law is administered selectively. If I issued exactly that statement that Honorable Ngulube issued, about breaking people's bonds, as was the case when um, our former vice president, you know the fat one, issued in a metaphor. Wait, 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 w
Let me is that video authentic? To be protected. I need, yes, no, no, is no, that no. video I authentic? Tutor, 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 please, the please do not, one, do not. One vice president of ours in the past used a metaphor that I'm going to come for your throat. He spent almost two years in court. Here's an MP who threatened to break bonds. Whose for bonds did I threaten uh, to break? Ask the police to break the youths, disgruntled youths. But let me come to your question. We want to urge our youths to say anyone who participates in such kind of activities who be treated as a law break and we urge the police when you detain such people don't even give them police bond let the people of zambia live their lives in peace we cannot be uh, incited every time one politician or one NGO is not happy with anything they should take our people in the streets the police must be ready for them break their bonds if possible let the people know that a law breaker is a law breaker I thank you. 30 seconds, unfortunately. In my 30 seconds, I want to challenge Honore Bunkombo to prove to me that the purported video where bones. people are saying that me, I said, break their bones was actually me speaking about breaking their bones. And I think this social media that people have now developed where they can put words in someone's mouth and make a white president speak like a bemba man we, we are above that. <laughs> First of all, I also want to tell you, Honorable Bonkombo, that if you can prove to me that there is such a video and it was taken by a person who identifies himself and comes and says, I'm the one who took this video and you tell me where that video was taken from, I would definitely congratulate you. They incited every time one politician or one NGO is not happy with anything, they should take our people in the streets. The police must be ready for them, break their bodies if possible. Let the people know that a lawbreaker is a lawbreaker. I thank you. But if you can prove to me that there is such a video and it was taken by a person who identifies himself and comes and says, I'm the one who took this video and you tell me where that video was taken from, I would definitely congratulate you. I know myself for a fact that Southern Province used to have members of parliament that come from Northern Province. Southern Province used to have members of parliament that come from Eastern Province. Southern Province used to have councillors that come from everywhere. But today, because of one man and his taste for power, he has actually introduced tribalism such that 99.999% of the people standing as candidates that side are supposed to come from there. And when people talk about tribalism, they say we hate them. We don't hate them. We hate one person. We hate one person. And the reason why we hate one person is because apart from stealing from the people of Zambia, and apart from failing to account for the money from, from privatization, he denies, he says he did not participate in privatization. And we want to ask him, how did you get rich when the people of Zambia continued getting poorer? When the pensioners were not paid, you became a rich man. So can you connect the two? Connect the two for us. The pensioners are dying without money, you will become a rich man. Akawawawa. Kawala pakubo kwain. Kabola ni pakubo. Let him tell us how he became rich while the rest of the people got very poor and some of them even died. And I want to speak for myself that my father worked for Zambia National Holdings, a, a company that was owned by UNIP. And when the, the, the government privatized those companies, there is one Zambian politician who was in charge of the privatization exercise. My father died without receiving a coin. And we want to tell him that me, I'm here where I am because the people of Zambia supported government policies. We want him to tell us why he has failed to build a house for his parents, why he has failed to build a house for his, for, for his mother-in-law, if his money is genuine. So we want to tell him that the people of Zambia are aware that you have been hacking people and shedding their blood because you are not a Christian. Today you can't claim to say you are a Christian, yet you want to fight Zambia as a Christian nation. When we were debating Bill Number 10, and one of the clauses that came into play was Zambia being a Christian nation. And he told his members of parliament, you can do anything, whatever you want to do, but on Zambia as a Christian nation, I am not going to accept. And the members of parliament told us as we were negotiating to say our president does not want Zambia to be a Christian nation because it will compromise him. It's going to make sure that the people funding him are not giving them money. You know, his, 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 his political parties 
connected to gay rights, it's connected to all sorts of satanic, you know, tithes and whatever they've signed. We want to tell the people of Zambia, we are Christians. And the people of Kawe we will show you the door. We are sending him into retirement next week. We are sending him into retirement next week. I also know, I also know that here in Osaka, all this massive infrastructure, all these beautiful roads, all these bridges, all this road shedding that has come to an end, all these things that the people of Zambia were complaining about have now been, been dealt with. So the people of Lusaka have no reason for changing a president. They have no reason for changing government. The people of Central Province have no reason for changing government. Because when there was load shedding, we dealt with load shedding. When there was a drought, the majority of the droughts that we saw in Zambia in the history of this country, the government has actually invested heavily, and now as we are speaking, there's no more load shedding. So why change a government when all the problems that the people are using for changing government have been dealt with? Akawawawa! Akawawawa! We will repeat that come next week, the people of Zambia must stand up in their huge numbers. They must queue up as early as 04 and must defend their rights. We have heard they are threatening people that they are going to follow them, they are threatening farmers, that anyone who is going to vote PF will be attacked. Our soldiers are on duty. We want to assure them and we want to tell all the cadres, even those that belong to the Patriotic Front, that the moment you carry a gun, you are no longer a civilian, you are not a cadre. Yeah. The moment you wear a military uniform and carry pangas, you are not a cadre. You are not even supposed to be dealt with by the police. You need soldiers. And I've, 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 I can say I'm happy that I've been looking at vehicles passing around Lusaka. I've seen a lot of soldiers patrolling and it means that the people of Zambia are safe because the commander-in-chief has taken charge of the situation. We know that when there was cholera, the president made sure that our soldiers came on board and the soldiers were used and we dealt with the issue of cholera. Why didn't they complain that time that the president is using soldiers? When we had gassers, when the UPND were gassing the people of Zambia, the president sent us soldiers and the gassers ran away. When the UPND were burning markets and cutting down Zesco pylons, the president sent soldiers and the cutting of Zesco pylons came to an end. Even now, they are busy hacking people and killing people in Kao uh, Kanyama, they are killing people in Kaoma, they are killing people wherever HH is passing, they are killing people there. You can imagine you are sitting in your house, simply because you belong to the PF, they break your car, they damage your gate, is that the Zambia we want? No. Is that the Zambia we want? No. Let him explain to the people of Zambia why is it that everywhere he is passing, people must die. Last year, his member of parliament for Sesheke was arrested and jailed. You can imagine if the whole lot of a member of parliament can be involved in grabbing a gun from a police officer, what kind of government can we form if we voted the UPND? Shemu na oye. Shemu na oye. Vako se. Vako se. Vako se sana. Because the people of Zambia have learned his tricks. And this time around, in Amajini Tayakawe known. We are going to wallop them. And when we wallop them, we are going to tell them to say, Wonse mweba ile kupia ndifu meniko takuli filiku. Why have people left him? If he was a good leader, when a Kambuidi Bali, where a GBM Bali, where a Bonse Bali, where a Kusherefe Vamayo and Amtalina Rumango, Navena, because Valiva running mate. But Navena, any time Gavalu Savaleva Fumiak. So we are encouraging every Zambian to say right now the best way to go is to maintain the PF in power. I know that Wakapokola Kumu and Dikuria yesterday Kukawe Central Valen Tote. Oku Pitafia Murod Valet Tote at Wayona Rebomali Womba. I am I and our government what Kulila Tuale Lala Mukaru Mukamo, Nava and Mukaru Mukamo kitchen in a toilet pansy. But now it will come up stairs houses. And then you tell them to change government. The people of Kabwe will not change government this year.
Because right now, as we are speaking, everything is happening. Mukulekelesha mkwai. Allow me to say, I am challenging the Amnesty International to come out in the open and tell the people of Zambia why they are quiet when PF members are being killed by the UPND. Why is the Amnesty International Z? Why are they not speaking? They are telling the people of Zambia that government has, has been attacking UPND members or the PF is attacking. How come all the people that are being killed are being killed by UPND and the Amnesty International is quiet? And also, I also want to finally talk about one thing. Our diplomats belonging to other countries that have come to work in Zambia and are busy trying to initiate government change, we want to tell them that as a diplomat, if you get involved in partisan politics, our law is very clear. I'm a lawyer and I'm speaking the truth. You can this is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.